Hello, everyone. The adventure begins. I got here a little after 5.30 and got through security and it's now 6.20 and I'm sitting here drinking a Pike Place from Starbucks with a shot of espresso. It's really nice. So anyway, I look forward to continuing this later on. And the adventure continues. I have landed in the UK and had a bit of a nap. The flight was very nice with some of the best airplane food I've ever had on British Airways. And I'm now at the Cube Bar and Restaurant and about to have my dinner, my first meal here. Sorry. Yes. I have here one top water. This is the top water. Yes. And Thank I you. have the lemonade, no ice on the other hand. Okay. Thank you okay. very much. This the cold one is lemonade. Yes. And this one this is the is water. Top water. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. So far, they're very nice. Um, I will meet the manager, Thomas. So uh, I'm having a really lovely dinner: butter chicken, and to start with, cauliflower and parsnip soup. I've never had anything like that at home. Not that kind of soup. So, this should be very interesting. On the airplane, I had a very nice pasta dish with cheese and mushrooms and olives with a very generous amount of cheese, two pieces to put on two crackers as spread. I believe they would be like water crackers and a roll with real butter and sticky pudding which had like a layer of cake in it with the really sweet kind of pudding it was very nice and very good ginger ale oh and a wonderful italian chardonnay i wish i would have found out the name of it well the soup has arrived look at this this smells absolutely good yeah hi <laughs> And then we have bread, and the butter is done very interestingly. I've seen it presented quite like that before. But uh, this is nice. Bon appetit to you. Thank you. <laughs> I must say, this is a really cute looking crock. I, I like the shape. And the butter. <clears throat> the butter is just divine. I see now what they mean about how European butter is. The butter chicken has arrived. Look at that. And uh, it'll be good to have more of that European butter at some point while I'm here. I mean, it's like eating solid cream. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, all this is really good on the side here. They're like these little pita chips. And up top here is basmati. And some of the best Indian and Chinese food I've ever had has been in the UK. And it was nice having the butter chicken because I have a friend who's from Pakistan. And she made butter chicken and that's where I had it from the first time ever. And hers was very good. Look at this, guys. Is this the most amount of ice cream you've ever seen? Uh, my nieces and nephews back in the day could go through a half a gallon in no time. And uh, it was on account of bowls, I'd say this size. It, it's three scoops. British dark chocolate ice cream. All right. What can I say? This really packs a punch. It's right up there with haagen -Dazs. And now, the piece de resistance. <laughs> Coffee with Cointreau and whipped cream. I had one of these a, a few times in earlier visits to the UK, and they said they were able to make one for me, so that's what we're doing.